Let's go to the CBC's Linda Ward. She joins us now near the Don River, which is an area of special concern today. So, Linda, we are seeing, as we say, some travel disruptions because of the weather, and there are concerns about the afternoon commute. What is the situation? Well, Michael, we are on flood watch here. This area behind me, the Dawn River, prone to flooding, quite prone, actually. It's, there's concern this river is going to breach its banks, and it's not crested yet. There's been no major reports of any flooding yet, but the concern is that they may have to shut down this stretch of the Don Valley Parkway, the road that runs right beside it, a major artery into the city for the afternoon rush. They can make that decision as early as 3 p.m. There's also concern about a commuter rail line that runs on the other side of this river here. That's Go Transit's Richmond Hill line. It may be rerouted if water levels continue to rise. Now, this stretch of rail line flooded out in 2013, leaving uh, hundreds of passengers stranded. We spoke to uh, Metrolink spokesperson Anne Marie Aikens about that and her concerns about a repeat. If we have a flash flood like we did in, in 2013, we had 70 millimeters in an hour. It just completely submerged the train, as we all remember, and um, uh, we certainly want to avoid that. So it really depends how fast the rain comes. Now, this is not expected to be a flash flood just like that event. That was 120 millimeters over a couple of hours. We're expecting a longer term rain event up to 90 millimeters by Saturday, but the ground is already saturated here in the city of Toronto. There's nowhere for this water to go. As you mentioned, the rain has caused major cancellations at the airport and Billy Bishop Island Airport has been affected as well. As we told you yesterday, too, Toronto Island had been sandbagging, prepping for a possible flood. Well, they're down to only limited ferry service there. And if you can believe it, this river, there was supposed to be hundreds of paddlers on this river this weekend for the Paddle the Dawn event. Now, that event has been cancelled for the first time in its 23-year history. So that'll give you a sense of just how serious uh, these water levels are right now, and we're keeping an eye on them to see just how they might affect the afternoon rush. Michael. Linda, thank you for the update. That is our Linda Ward watching the rising water in downtown Toronto.